We're gonna start off, we're gonna take the valve cover off, I'm gonna hand this off to Ricky. He's gonna do a full repaint, make it look brand new. While he's doing that, I'm gonna start doing some basic maintenance and refreshing some things on the engine. We have a new valve cover gasket going on because that is leaking. That seems to be the primary leak on this engine is kind of from the valve cover just covering everything. We're gonna be doing a full timing belt, so this does have a water pump included. We're gonna make sure all the cam seals and the crank seals are looking good and in good shape and just get this thing refreshed and ready to get back on the road. Once that's done, we're gonna throw a new action clutch and flywheel on, put our transmission back on and get this thing back in the car. I'm glad we're replacing the timing belt on this H series engine because it's currently actually out of time. So the intake cam is off the tooth. So as you guys can see, we have a little mark there and a mark there and that's sitting nice and straight along the backing plate. This one is down and this one is up, which means the cam is actually a tooth rotated this way. So this car should run a lot smoother, make more power and be more efficient once we retime it. So I just got our action flywheel installed and we're gonna install our clutch next and so we can get this engine back in the car. Now, we got a very nice streetable clutch for this car. So it is not some crazy six puck, it's also a sprung puck. So this is gonna be not only a stronger clutch than factory, it's gonna be very engaging, very smooth to drive, which is really cool. It's perfect for a street car. So if you guys are looking for a good street clutch, head over to action clutch, pick yourself one up. Yeah. 